When you're a breastfeeding mom, nothing stresses you out like a low milk supply. Today, we're going to cover what you can do to increase your milk supply overnight, as well as common remedies that can be dangerous. Welcome back to Every Mama's Midwife. If you're new, my name's Jess. I'm a certified nurse midwife and infertility mom. I just had my second baby about 10 weeks ago. With my first baby, several things happened over the course of our two-year breastfeeding journey that dropped my milk supply. First, I had to retain placenta, so my milk came in late. Then there were bits of placenta left for three months postpartum. My milk supply did get better once those were removed, but then it dropped again at about 10 months postpartum when I got a COVID vaccine. When most of my patients come to me seeking remedies for low milk supply, they usually want a medication they can take or a food they can eat to increase their milk supply. But hands down, the number one thing you can do to increase your milk supply is to pump more frequently. And it's worth noting that the time of day that you pump and the type of pump that you use can make a really big difference. You might remember from previous videos that we make more prolactin, a hormone associated with breastfeeding, at nighttime. So the best way to increase your milk supply is to add a pumping session in the middle of the night. If you can't bear to interrupt your sleep, first thing in the morning is the next best time to pump. With my daughter, I only got one three-hour stretch of sleep every night and then she would nurse every one to two hours after that, so I was not about to interrupt that three-hour session to pump. Instead, the other thing I did to improve my milk supply was to rent a hospital-grade pump. I did have a good Medela breast pump at the time, but once my supply dropped, I got way better results when I rented a hospital-grade pump. You may be able to rent a pump from the labor and delivery unit at your local hospital, but if you can't, you can rent a pump directly from the Medela website. It's also a good idea to check with your insurance company to see if they cover a hospital grade rental, because if they do, they may have a company that they want you to rent from. I rented a hospital grade pump for about three months, and then when my daughter turned one, I stopped pumping. The rental cost me about $75 a month, but my insurance did reimburse me 100%. I also looked into buying a hospital grade pump, but unfortunately they're not available for purchase. As far as foods go to increase supply, you certainly can try eating oatmeal every day, lactation cookies, mother's milk tea, but I wouldn't expect to see dramatic results from any of those things. Anecdotally, I have had a few patients tell me that adding brewer's yeast to their diet did increase their supply, but that it didn't taste very good. If you have found a way to make brewer's yeast taste good or you have another food that helped your supply, please drop it in the comments to help the other mamas out there. Staying really well hydrated is also important to having a good milk supply, so adding an electrolyte beverage once a day can be really helpful, Oop. like coconut water or body armor, but again, it's not going to magically give you an oversupply if you don't already have one. A lot of lactation consultants will recommend the supplement fenugreek, and some breastfeeding moms do find fenugreek helpful. There is a little bit of research that sometimes it can be helpful, but all of the studies that I'm aware of are really, really small, and I'm talking like a sample size of 25. When I was in midwifery school, I was taught that the amount you need to take varies from mother to mother because you do need to take enough where it makes your body odor smell like maple syrup. I was also taught that it can significantly alter the flavor of your breast milk, and so sometimes it can effectively increase your supply, but then your baby doesn't want to latch because the flavor is off. If this is something that you want to consider, I would recommend talking to a lactation consultant about it, and, and certainly too if you're having supply issues, it's always a good idea to talk to a lactation consultant. I don't routinely recommend fenugreek or buying mother's milk tea or lactation cookies or anything like that to my patients, just because for the most part, the population I'm serving does not have a lot of money to spend on things like that. And I think you're going to get a pretty low return on your investment, whereas you, you have a better bet just pumping more often. All right, so what are the things you might want to avoid? If you're worried about milk supply and you do some Googling, you may stumble across a medication called Reglin, also known as metoclopramide. Reglin is a prescription-only nausea medication that can also have the side effect of galacteria, also known as spontaneous lactation. This means that women who are not pregnant or breastfeeding, or even sometimes men who take Reglin, will just start leaking milk. Like most areas of science, the research on this is mixed. Some studies have shown that Reglin can help milk supply. Some studies have shown no increase in supply. The other side effect that can develop with long-term Reglin use is tardive dyskinesia. Tardive dyskinesia is a disorder where you can develop involuntary movements of your face or extremities. So you might start shaking your head without meaning to or involuntarily smacking your lips. If tardive dyskinesia develops, it never goes away for the rest of your life. 
Because of this, I was taught not to prescribe Reglan for milk supply. I am not comfortable with it at all. I just think that the risks are too high. There are some providers who will. Everyone's going to have a different comfort level or opinion, but make sure you go over all of the risks and benefits with your provider really thoroughly if this is something you're going to consider. If your milk supply is suffering due to a clogged duct, then make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell because we will be discussing that in an upcoming video. Make sure to like this video if you found it helpful. It really helps the algorithm get it out to the mamas who need it. Thank you so much for watching.